guys, it's Bridget. Today I'm gonna be getting ready with you, showing you a few new products that I've picked up recently, giving them a try. This is kind of first impressions. And this is the end result. So if you wanna see how I got this look and you wanna try out some new products with me, then just keep watching. We have a little visitor today in the video. Hi, Jasmine. <laughs> The star of the show today is the Stila Magnificent Metals Liquid Eyeshadow. I have this shade Smoky Storm and today I'm gonna do a look using this. It's gonna be bold and beautiful and sparkly. Let's get started. So I've already done my brows just to save time and I've primed my lids using a MAC Paint Pot and then I've also kind of carved out around my brows using Maybelline Foundation. I've heard that the Magnificent Metals liquid eyeshadow doesn't work super well on top of eyeshadow primer, but neither of those are technically primers, so I'm hoping we'll be fine. I'm gonna set my primer using a mixture of this light shade here from my Kat Von D palette and this shade on the end here too. I'm gonna keep the eyeshadow pretty simple because I think the beauty of a product like this um, is that it is quick and easy to use and you can do a glitter look on days when you don't have like an hour and a half to be patting little bits of glue and loose glitter on your eyelids. So yeah, um, next we're gonna go in with this transition shade here. Moving along to this light brown, I'm gonna focus that in the outer corners. So once you've got a pretty basic smoky eye going on, you really only need two or three colors, maybe even one or two to blend that out. Then it's time for Stila Shadow. Ooh. So it comes in this tube with a doe foot applicator. I tend to just put it directly on my eyelid, so I'm gonna do that now. Ooh, so pretty. And then blend it out with my fingers. One of the things I like about this product is that it is really easy to blend. Something I like to do is get a little bit of the sparkles on my finger and sort of pat that in all the way kind of up to the brow bone. So you get like a little trail of sparkles and then the intense majority of the sparkles actually on the lid. And then I'm gonna finish it off with a winged liner. Last time I tried these out, I made the mistake of using like a pen liner, so, and that kind of that didn't work so well. Some of the sparkles got stuck on the pen tip. So today I'm going to use my Bobbi Brown Gel Liner. So I'm taking that on my Smith 202 brush, which is the best for tiny line drawing. And I've actually depotted a tiny bit of this onto a tissue. You can also use like a makeup um, palette alternative surface so that if you get pieces of glitter on your brush when you're applying the liner, you don't have to get them back in your eyeliner pot. Just in case you don't want to contaminate your whole eyeliner with glitter particles. Yeah, it's pretty hard to keep the glitter out of your liner to be honest. I don't really mind that look, but one way to avoid it would be to obviously do your liner first and then be really careful when you go in and apply the Magnificent Metals shadow. I think to perfect my wings, I'm gonna switch over to my Ardency in liner pen. Being careful to stay away from the glitter. That 
that just makes a nice sharper wing. Okay, I think that's good enough for now. Now, now I'm gonna clean up all the glitter that has sort of spread around my eye area with Q-tip and some micellar water. This kind of cleans up the shadow in the outer corner too. And that glitter has traveled all the way down my face. Also gonna go wash my hands since I did use my fingers to blend it in. Wanna get rid of all those little glitter particles. For foundation, I'm using my Bobbi Brown BBU palette. I'm gonna use the shade Sand and Warm Sand combined. I actually have, let's see, it's two. I actually have sand in the Bobbi Brown stick foundation form, but it's at my boyfriend's house. I'm just using a little spatula to scoop out a small bit from the palette and then blend it together on my hand. Where I will then apply directly to the face with my finger. And I'm gonna use my Artiste Oval 6 brush to blend. Definitely darker than my natural skin tone, but somehow still Maybe not dark enough to match my body tan. I think it's okay for now. I'll just bronze it up with powder bronzer. For concealer, I'm gonna do my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Light. I'm gonna blend that out using my Dampened Beauty Blender. And then for a little more brightness, I'm gonna go in for the first time using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I got this in the shade Fair Neutral, which would be my normal shade if I wasn't fake tan right now. But I'm dying to try this out, so I'm gonna give it a go anyways. And use it kind of like a brightening Blending out really nicely so far. Ooh, it looks nice. It's turning into a more full coverage face than I'm used to, but I think it's really pretty. And I'm gonna set just under my eyes using this tiny By Terry Hyaluronic Powder. It's a loose powder. It's just a little sample guy, but let's see how it works. When I only want to powder a small area of my face, I like to use an eyeshadow blending brush to just put the color, I mean, not color, <laughs> the powder directly where I want it. And I'm mainly powdering under my eyes so that when I apply my bottom lash eyeshadow, it doesn't stick too much. For my bottom lashes, I'm gonna do this shade right here and just sweep that right along the lower lid, I mean, is that lid? I don't know. The lower lash line. <laughs> and I'm actually gonna take some of this darker brown shade here, just a tiny bit, and dab that on the outer corner close to the lash line. Make sure that's all blended nicely. And I'm gonna line the waterline with my Rimmel Nude Eye Pencil. And I'm also gonna line, tight line, using my Ardency In Pencil. And now moving on to the rest of the face, I'm gonna contour using my Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder in Medium. I think this contour color is a little ashy for my warmer skin tone. Maybe dab that off a little bit. 
Okay, so it's not so bad blended in, but I think I probably maybe would not use that contour color in the future with more tanned, warm skin. I think instead I might use something like the Pixie Shape and Shadow. I'm gonna blend this all the way down the neck. Hopefully this will help everything blend my skin color, my body, and my face color. And for bronzer, I'm gonna use my Tom Ford bronzing powder in 02 Terra. I'm going to go in with a much bigger brush for this and a lighter touch for an all over bronze rather than using this for contouring. Very nice. And for blush, I'm going to use my Tarte blush wheel and take the shade Maud. Just kind of a warm, peachy, orangey blush. For highlight, I'm trying out a new to me product. This is the Lancome Glow Subtil Silky Cream Highlighter in Glowing Lights. It's kind of a funny texture. It's like a Moosey. It's like really soft to the touch. I've been wanting to try this for a while. It came in like a Sephora glow kit thing, but normally it would be too dark of a highlight for me. But I think it's perfect now. And I think to make the highlight extra extreme, I'm going to use my Cover FX Illuminating Drops in the shade this is Moonlight. Ooh, yes. I don't know if how well this is gonna layer over the other cream product, but we shall see. Maybe I'll do a pop on the inner corner. Ooh, yes, that looks nice. Let beauty blend all of this in. And I think today I'm also going to go over my little beauty mark here with a brow pencil. This is by NYX. This is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil, which I do not like for my actual brows, but it's good for this purpose. I just don't like the shade. I'm going to be using my Marc Jacobs mascara on the top lashes. need a new tube of this. This is drying out. For bottom lashes, I'm going to use my CoverGirl Clump Crusher Waterproof Mascara. Whoa, maybe a little too much bottom lash mascara. Is there such a thing? I think there is. Brow Gel. This is the Givenchy Brow Gel. Mr. Brow Groom. My favorite. brow gel last. I like to apply it after I've used all the powders I'm going to use on my face because I find that if you put your brow gel on first and the powders kind of like stick to it and look weird. So brow gel is one of my last steps always. Okay, lashes are on. I just used the Ardell Demi Wispies, a classic favorite. For lips, I'm going to use my MAC Oh Honey Lip Pencil. This is a pro long wear lip pencil. And I'm gonna dab a little of my Tartist, Tartist lip paint in the middle in the shade Namaste. I love how this smells like mint. And I think I'm gonna dab a little bit of my Pixie lip gloss on top. I don't really feel like a matte lip today. I don't know if I like that anymore. Hmm, I'm not sure what I think about the lip. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Setting everything with my MAC Fix Plus. And this is the finished look. I hope you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Let me know in the comments down below what you want to see next. 
and oh and giveaway winners to my giveaway on my video last week the ultimate gift card giveaway will be announced in the vlog that goes up on Monday so keep an eye out for that I'm picking those winners today yeah thank you so much for watching I will see you next time